tortured it enough. Now we haven't done something like this in quite some time. An update video. Well, this particular update video is going to be brief because, number one, I don't want to bore you guys, and number two, I want to keep it kind of, you know, short and sweet. So, now the reason why I want to do an update video is because I haven't posted a lot throughout this winter, but because it's spring, weather's getting nicer, we can bring stuff outside, we can really smoke things over, and I've got a few bits and pieces that I think you might be interested in. Now, some of you may know, I recently visited the NSI, the, or the Geek Group, as it was formerly called. And I'd like to thank Chris, the host of the place, for like 24 years or something like that. He, for a very good price, he gave me a whole lot of stuff. Now, this is during their sale out. Their sale out ended, so nobody can visit now. And the building is now closed off. But, yeah, unfortunately, they, they went out of business. Now, because of that, they had a going out of business sale. And since I wasn't too far away, I decided to pay a visit. Now I had a ball visiting the place because I was able to meet some people who had the same ideas and interests that I have. Um, because it's rare to find nerds out there like me. Anyway, enough with the waffling. Let's get on with the update. So I'm sure most of you guys are aware that we have a 125 kilovolt, 300 milliamp supply in here. And I don't have intentions to crank it up to 300 milliamps due to the fact that I don't have the power for that. And these things have a low duty cycle so I don't really have intentions to overpower it so you know putting too much power into things would be for the pull mount transformer um, the other thing just to the right of it is a dispatch magnetic annealing oven controller which has various different pieces of equipment inside which I'm quite interested in I don't really have a use for this panel because I don't have three phase power so if I needed parts from it then that won't be too big of a deal um, so it's got it's got some pretty nifty stuff inside fuses contactors relays and all those uh, really fun pieces of equipment for building power supplies. Um, so, yep, it's a very decent panel. Don't know if I'm going to take it apart yet, but I'm pretty sure if I needed parts from it, then that won't be too big of a deal. Um, and just behind it is a 40 kilovolt, 5 microfarad capacitor. I believe it's that's what I was told. Um, it doesn't have a tag on it, so I can't read anything. But before that ever does get powered up, it needs wheels. It needs a proper setup. It needs to be painted. It's got a lot of work to do, so I don't know when we're going to get to that. However, we do have a power supply being built right now, which can whack out through 21 kilowatts of power. Uh, this will be getting a nice paint job, not paint job, sorry about the typo. But I've got a couple questions about it. I need some balancing chokes for the Variax, because this was originally used for a three-phase supply. And um, so giving it balancing chokes will allow us to get even more power out of it without uh, destroying the Variax. So, um, yep, it would be greatly appreciated. And if I can make my own balancing chokes... Um, please give me some insight on that, because that would be greatly ap appreciated, too. Sorry about that. But, yep, this will be built very soon at some point. 
Um, these are the switches that will be going onto the panel. Uh, I have more switches on the way and more parts. Um, so, yep, it's coming along good. I've also got parts in the basement that you guys have yet to see in future videos, so that'll be uh, quite interesting. Um, so I'm going to take my time on this power supply build so that we have a decently built power supply. But that's the update, guys. I appreciate the patience and everything else. Things are getting quite busy, so... Um, yep, hopefully I can crank out some more videos very soon as the weather is getting nicer, so you'll be able to blow stuff up more. Alright, that's it. So guys, that was our little update video. I hope you guys enjoyed the experiment in the first half of the video. And... Things are getting busy, especially with that. That power supply, holy crap. But please, balancing chokes, I really want to know where I can get those or how to build some. Because I've, I've seen some and they're really small and I'm pretty sure I can make my own. Um, I'm not sure. So if you guys have any suggestions for me, you might just make this power supply ten times better. So thank you guys for watching. That's what I got. And catch you guys soon.